What's up Rebels and welcome back to our channel. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a like, and don't forget to turn on post notifications to keep up with everything we're doing. So Ivy is at the store right now and little Luna is taking a nap. So I figured it's the best time right now to get Ivy back. The other day she got me pretty good with a broken TV prank. So it's my turn to get her back. Team Terry, let's do this. So thank you Rose Forever for sponsoring this video. Check this out, you guys, it's so beautiful. It comes in a velvet case, black roses, of course. It's so cute. So yeah, they are a New York-based company and they carry a bunch of different sizes and colors from ranging from black, of course, to gold, to silver, to the traditional colors. And I think the coolest thing about this company is that they use natural oils to preserve these roses for up to a year. You heard me, one year, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check them out. I will link them down below in the description box. And for the next 30 days, you do get $15 off any of the roses. Just make sure you use the code, the rebels, to get that. Yeah, check them out guys, they're on Instagram. I will link that as well and get you some roses, get your girl some roses. Ah. And it comes in a velvet box, did I mention that already? Oh my God, I'm obsessed, I can't stop staring at it, it's so cute. Okay, so with these roses, I figured that it is the, ding, 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 it just went off in my head to do a prank for Ivy about like another girl sends me flowers prank. <laughs> so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it out on the steps. Um, like on our front door, like it was delivered and I just didn't hear them or something. Cause a lot of the times, like nobody ever knocks our door. I just open my door and there's packages. So Ivy knows that too, that I probably like didn't hear it or they didn't knock the door or something. So yeah, I'm going to add a little note. Uh, I was thinking that it would say something along the lines of like, I had a great night the other night or something like that because I did go out the other night and um, had some fun. So I think that's what I'll say, because that, that would be the most believable right there. All right. Okay, so I said, I tried to write it a little bit different from my handwriting, that way it's not gonna be too obvious. So I put, I had a great night the other night, XO, some hearts, put my name on the card. So I am going to seal this up. And this is just gonna look real fancy because I even have like a little mini fancy envelope that I found lying around. Okay. So I'm gonna put my name inward so she doesn't see it right away. She might think it's for her or something. Maybe she'll think I got her some flowers or something. So I'll put that there. And I'm going to leave them on my steps. Boom. And you can't see that it says Terry on it. So perfect. All right. She shouldn't be too long because she just went to the store. That's like a couple minutes away. So yeah. So she shouldn't be too long. I'll actually call her just to make just see if she's going anywhere else and see when she's coming back. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. So I'm such a bad liar and she's gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> Um, are you still at the store? Yeah, why do you need anything? No, no, I'm just calling to check in. Luna's still taking a nap, so I was just seeing when you're coming back. Mm, I'm almost done. I'll be home in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. All right, see you soon. In the clearance aisle. Of course you are. <laughs> that dollar section, though. I know. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. I hate doing pranks sometimes. <laughs> I'm like kind of nervous, I'm sweating. 
Wearing a sweater was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'll check back in with you guys when she gets here. I gotta figure out where to hide the camera. Look who joined us. Are you gonna join me for the prank? Help me get back at mommy. Wanna say hi to the rebels? Say hi. from them? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was with my friends the other night, so maybe one of my friends sent it to me. Your friends wouldn't send you roses. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't know, babe. Oh. So who did you meet the other night when you said you were just with your friends? Because clearly you're lying. I'm not lying. If you just... You, no one would just send you flowers out of nowhere, and how'd they get your address? I don't know, babe. I went out with my friends. We just had a couple drinks. We went and, to a couple clubs. And? And we went to a couple clubs and just had fun. I don't know, just hung out. And so who were you hanging out with? What did you do? How are we <laughs> supposed to have an open, honest relationship if you don't tell me shit? I really don't know, babe. I'm just as confused as you are who would send me these flowers. It's really random. I mean, they have great taste. Maybe they meant to send it to both of us. It says Terry. Maybe they didn't know how to spell your name. And it says I had a good time last night. I haven't fucking been it out. It says the other night. I haven't been out. We, no, we haven't been out together. So it's know. clearly for you. So who the fuck did you meet? Who are you lying about? I, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm just as confused as you are. I don't really know where they came from. Is mom lying? Being a liar. Don't involve her. I'm not involving her. I'm trying not to yell because she's here, but I'm really annoyed because you're lying. Babe, you know I don't You lie. have all the fucking freedom in the world. You have all, anything you could want. All I ever ask is for you to be honest with me and not lie. And your face is turning red and that's how I know that you're fucking lying. No, it's hot in here, that's why. I don't know, I, I seriously, I really don't know. I'm just as confused as you are. I wish they left like a name or something. Well, you know who I was with? I was with my two homies the other night. So, I don't know. I'm really confused. They have great taste though. Yeah, they're cool, but I don't want them because they're not from you. I don't want your love, secret love admirer flowers in my house. No. What the fuck you think this is? I don't know. Luna, who do you think this is from? So weird. What do you think? Here. Uh oh, don't eat that. It's dirty. It's dirty. Yeah, I don't know, babe. 
Well, you better begin. To, Leno, you better well, begin to remember because I'm not gonna have to sit here and have you lie to my face. How about we just get rid of the note and now they're yours. No, tell me the fucking truth. Who sent this to you and how do they have our address? Babe, I don't that know. That concerns me. How does someone know where we're living? I don't know. Someone has our address. So you not only met someone, lied about it, you also told them where we live? Like, that's dangerous. What if I don't know. Psycho? What do you mean you don't know? I don't, I really like, don't, don't know, babe. you because you were drinking or what do you mean? Yeah, I don't. Tequila. Begin to know. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. I was drinking, yes, and maybe I overdid it a little bit. I did black out a little bit, so I don't, I don't know. So in the time you blacked out, you met someone, did something, clearly did something enough for them to send you some nice ass flowers. Yeah. I don't even know where to get flowers like that. It says the company name right there. I don't care about the company name. Where? Who is this person? Babe, I don't know. About? I don't know. Should I call your friends and find out? No. Maybe they can tell me. Don't call them. That's embarrassing. Well, I want to know because I'm not going to sit here and have you lie to my face. I know. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you besides I don't know. I don't know where they came from. I like and I went out to a couple clubs with my friends too that they got sent to our house. I know. Who do you think you are? No, like, it's, it's weird. Child? It's, it's totally, weird. It's like, totally weird. You can't weird. have people tell. You can't tell people where we live, especially not some random ass stranger. I know. It's it's really random. I'm in shock too. I I don't know where they came from. I what do you know. mean you're in shock? Okay. I don't think you should be drinking then if you can't even remember giving someone your address and doing whatever you did with them for them to send you flowers and have fun the other night. That's our whole deal is that we're honest with each other and you're just straight up lying to my face. No. Well, I'm sorry, baby. I don't know where they came from. Okay. I'm sorry. No, you don't get to say sorry and don't don't touch me. Luna, tell mommy I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I don't know where they came from. <laughs> See? Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, baby. I can't help it if people. No, want I don't know. Baby. Well, I don't know. I don't know if, you, if people want to buy me roses, then they want to buy me roses. I, I just want to know who and how they know where we live. Why are you lying? When you came home, I was like, "Oh, how was your night?" And you didn't mention anything about meeting someone, making plans, whatever you did, saying this is where I live. Like, how would they get all that information? Obviously, I'm drunk, calling your friends right now. Obviously, I'm drunk. We told them. It, you don't need to call my friends. Tell me the truth, because <laughs> I'm going to call them. They'll tell me the real story. All right, here's the truth. So I did go out the other night, and I did meet someone. And basically, they sent me this roses because they were in on it. Because they were in on it. In on what? In on pranking you. <laughs> Don't call my freaking friends, you weirdo. <laughs> no, it's a, I, it, I was working with this company on the low low. They're really cool. <laughs> they're actually for you, baby. Or for us, I guess. <laughs> they're just not as cool to me now. Like, they're really beautiful and we'll keep them in our house. But no, they're not for me. <laughs> they are. They are for you because Can I told them. I told them I was gonna prank you. Flowers. <laughs> this is my romance, giving you prank flowers. I was thinking this handwriting kind of looks like yours. You should have done like cursive. I don't know how to do cursive. I tried to make it a little bit sloppier or different. Damn, you got so mad. I knew you were gonna get pissed though. Well, yeah, because I hate lying. That's like my biggest pet peeve. Yeah. We got mommy. We got mommy. Dari, mommy got mad. Hold on, let me grab the camera. And dirty mommy got mad. Dari. Damn, girl, you have me sweating in here. Yeah, you're turning too red. That's why I was lying. I know I'm sweating so bad. Whew. All right, did did we get her? I just didn't know what else to say, so I was just playing the dumb card and playing that like I blacked out. Um. Yeah, you got mommy. Thank you for helping me. I wonder if some of your friends would lie and cover for you. That would be a good test. No. I feel like 
Who is she talking to? Why do they know where we live? They would be like, my friends. My friends are not good liars though either. I feel like they would just be like, yeah, she was doing whatever. They would. T I feel like they'd snitch. <laughs> to be honest, the only one who's good at pranking here is Luna. Yeah, she's a master pranker. Right? Do you like your flowers, babe? Got them for you. They're really cool. Do they need like water? No, they live for a year, bro. I love yeah. that they're black. Of course. Wouldn't go with any other color. They're so cute. So Team Terry, I think we got her. Um, Luna, great assistant for usual. You're just on everybody's side going back and forth, huh? <laughs> She's on the pranking side. Always. Yeah, always. She's wild. Very wild, that's my girl. All right, well, until the next video. You're annoying. I was about to like cancel our whole open relationship. <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> that's the whole thing is if you have an open relationship, you have to be honest 24-7. That's why I was about to slap her. Yeah, you can definitely still cheat in an open relationship. I actually saw a whole thread about it the other day yeah. online. But yeah. That counts, like not talking about it and telling someone where we live. I would never. <laughs> that is like, that's a whole new level of scary because we have a baby. You can't mm -hmm. be telling random ass hoes where we live. <laughs> Sorry. Don't call him hoes, baby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Clearly, she's still upset. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. It's kind of nice having Luna around because Ivy, we don't fight as intense, I guess. No, I don't know don't. if it's good or bad. We try to like keep it a little bit more on the calm side. We do. My goal is to never like mm -hmm. yell in front of her. Mm -hmm. We'll try our best. I mean, I'm sure sometimes something will happen. Yeah. But, and then even when she can talk, I'm going to try not to swear so much. Mm -hmm. But, like, even now, like, if we argue, we, like, we'll argue. We, like, but, talk argue. But we keep it in, like, a friendly tone. I'll be like, you're really getting on my nerves today. <laughs> can you please stop doing that? Mm -hmm. But I don't want to, like, freak out because I don't want her to, like, be subjected to us Give me fighting. Some just... mm -hmm. You're lucky the baby was here. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see her. you guys next video. Getting a whipping. Team Terry. Team Terry. No. Peace.